If you've driven between Bradford and Leeds, you've probably seen this. The Bradford Leeds Cycle Superhighway, running from the centre of Bradford all the way to Leeds. But to say the least, these new developments have caused controversy, with a lot of anger boiling over from both cyclists and motorists. But why is there so much anger? Well, let's start from the beginning. City Connect, founded in 2014, built and spearheaded the new Bradford Le to Leeds Superhighway, but also have completed other projects like the Scarborough Bridge in York, the Bradford Canal Road Cycleway, the Castleford to Wakefield Greenway, and improvements to the Leeds Liverpool towpath. All these projects being completed under the mantra of getting more people to get out of their cars to walk or cycle instead, with the infrastructure trying to make switching more appealing. Originally proposed in 2013 and receiving the go-ahead in August, funding for the project was sourced from a successful bid of £18 million from the government and £11 million from the local areas. The construction of the route began at the start of 2015, with it opening a year and a half later on the 30th of June 2016. In the last five years, not much has changed to the Cycle Superhighway, with most focus being switched to other projects to extend or create new cycling infrastructure, bringing us to the present. So what caused all this disagreement? Well, pretty much the issue with the new infrastructure is that it nearly always has to be built on existing roads, with the capacity of the roads often being negatively affected by the new infrastructure. This causes motorists and commuters to be aggravated by the cyclists and the cycle infrastructure as it directly causes a negative impact on their work or commute. This perception is then often compounded when they see the infrastructure being used minimally, thus creating a negative opinion on the new projects. Also, the local topography also means that even with the new infrastructure, new cyclists are often dismayed by the daunting hilliness of the route, therefore choosing either not to travel using the cycle superhighway or transiting using the canal instead due to it being mainly flat for the entirety of its route. Well, if you're an avid cyclist or an animate driver, then I highly suggest you go make your views known on any of the live consultations about new cycle routes at your voice. As always, what do you think? And let us know in the comments. And also, thanks for watching.